In this video, I'm going to be looking at a common problem that people have when starting off usually with EXWare, but this would apply to all of our units in general. And that problem is getting connected to the unit. Um, in the EXWare's case, it's discovering the IP address since there's no screen, but we want to connect to the unit, uh, access the system settings, and then change the IP address to make it what you would like it to be. First, while connected to the EXWare, either directly into your computer or by your network, you would want to try to locate the device's IP address using JMobile. You can do this by clicking Run and either Manage Target or Download to Target while a project is loaded. From the Manage Target window, you can click the drop-down arrow and view any devices that your computer is recognizing on your local network. In my case, these two units are both plugged into my router and I'm connected to the router via Wi-Fi. Once I select the unit, I can confirm that it is connected by clicking Retrieve Projects. And I will see that JMobile will recognize all of the projects on this unit. I can also use this IP address to access the system settings. We can access the system settings in a browser using the URL https colon slash slash IP address slash machine underscore config. You may be prompted to sign in using the username and password admin admin by default. And from here we are able to access the system settings. This screen will look almost identical to the system settings screen that you can access um, on all of our units that have a screen by touching and holding with your finger. In the case of the EXWare, there is no way to do that, so this is the way to access it. From this screen, we can look at our network settings and change the IP addresses. Mine is defaulted to DHCP. And by default, the EXWare or other units will be configured to DHCP on both ports. However, we will often send the EXWares out with a static IP address defined on port 1. And just to show how we do this, we can click Edit in the top right corner, disable DHCP, and come up with a new IP address for the unit. Then click save. You will hear the unit beep and the IP address will be changed. If both of your ports are configured to DHCP or you don't know the IP address, it could be difficult to access the system settings. If JMobile is not recognizing your IP address, then the best way to go about connecting to the unit is resetting the IP address. You can do this by executing a bash script, which is found in the link below. This script is written to set all of the ports to DHCP. However, if you enter an IP address into the Ethernet IP slot and a netmask, then you can use this script to define a static IP address. Simply save the script into the root directory of your USB stick. Enter the USB stick into the unit. And wait a few moments for the script to execute. You will know when the script is finished executing by the sound of three distinct beeps in a row. And at that point, you can refresh system settings and you'll see that the IP address has changed. You can find a link to a zip file containing that bash script in the description. Make sure to unzip the file and store the bash script into the root directory of your USB stick.